Right Honorable Speaker, having discharged these courtesies, let me be quick to state that all is not well with our country. Mr. Speaker, our country is under attack. Ghana is under a plague of unprecedented spate of illegal, illicit, uncontrolled, and unregulated mining activities. So, Speaker, I say this because Ghana is under the precipice of a self-inflicted environmental genocide and destruction. Our beautiful country, once called the Gold Coast, to underscore the rich mineral deposit God has bestowed on us, is fast becoming a pale shadow of itself. So, Speaker, our lands, with all its rich flora and fauna, are being destroyed by the day. Our once pristine rivers and water bodies are now looking as brown as coffee, having been poisoned to satisfy the insatiable greed of unscrupulous few of our citizens. So, Speaker, many farmlands, including cocoa farms, have been completely destroyed, and in their place are our unattended pits and galleys from these uncontrolled mining activities. Mr. Speaker, according to the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the CSIR, it may take up to 300 years to restore the quality of soil damaged by these illegal mining activities. Right, Honorable Speaker, it appears that Ghana is at war against itself, and the destruction, destructive effect of this frightening and far-reaching mining, Mr. Speaker, will go a long way to affect the lives of the people of Ghana. This reckless and criminal discharge of heavy metals such as mercury, lead, and cyanide into our water bodies and land have already begun to have a dire consequences on the health of our people. The speaker, medical experts have delivered a scary verdict on the babies being born with various deformities such as the absence of limbs, eyes, and other vital bodies, body parts. Mr. Speaker, we are at crisis point. At the heart of this crisis is leadership failure, official complicit, and lack of political will by the Kufuado Baumia government and the MPP. Right, Honorable Speaker, to do nothing is no longer an option. Right, Honorable Speaker, I repeat, to do nothing is no longer an option. This House must rise to the occasion and bring the necessary action to bear on the President, the Vice President, and the government to act.